Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. All right, everybody. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. So today, what are we going to talk about? I'm going to share with you some pearls of wisdom, some some just great stuff that I have come across in the last few weeks that I'm just going to give you, you know, the, the, the name or the title. I'm going to give you a little bit about what it was for me. And then if you're interested, you can go and uh, track it down and, and listen or watch these things in full. All right. So where are we going to start? All right. <clears throat> number one. Number one is going to be a podcast episode. All right. The podcast episode is a podcast called Making Sense. All right. This is um, Sam Harris's new uh, podcast. It used to be called, I think it was called, maybe it was just called the same. I don't know what it was called, but now it's called Making Sense. Oh, it used to be called Waking Up. Now it's called Making Sense. So it's the Making Sense podcast, right? And um, about three weeks ago, he had a guest on named David White, W-H-Y-T-E, David White. And um, it was such, such a good interview. David White is a, a poet whose work I absolutely adore. If you uh, check out my Facebook business page, my coaching page, um, you'll see I put a lot of uh, uh, repost David White's uh, poetry because it is so, so very good. Um, so the uh, podcast that um, that was, was with David White was called The Conversational Nature of Reality, and it's episode number 184, and that is the Making Sense podcast, number 184. So you can easily find it. And it's just a conversation. And in, the, in it, um, David White talks about the three marriages. So um, you can probably guess what the three marriages are, but it was really interesting when you start to think about how, how you interact with these three different uh, entities in your life. So one is your you know, a par- like a partner marriage, right? A partnership, a, you know, how you interact with, with, uh, with a, 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 a special somebody. Then the next one is how do you interact with your work, with the thing that you do, that you spend a lot of your time of your life with, right? And then the third, of course, is the relationship, the marriage with yourself, you know? How do you treat yourself in that relationship of you and you, and one thing that he said, uh, which I really, I actually made a note of it, and I shared it with a few people, was um, he said that good work leads you to areas in your life you couldn't imagine for yourself. Good work leads you to areas you couldn't imagine for yourself. And and I guess the message there was, you know, when you get scared about taking that next big step, take it, uh, because that's where kind of where the magic is, right? So it's a pretty, it was pretty great. It's just great. I'm going to uh, listen to it a second time because I got so much out of it. Okay, so that is Sam Harris, David White interview, episode number 184 of the Making Sense podcast. You can get that anywhere. Number two, you can find this probably on YouTube. Um, it was an interview that occurred recently between Conan O'Brien and Jim Carrey. Now, 
I love Jim Carrey. I love him more now than I did when he was, you know, super popular. He has become an artist and he's got some really crystal clear ideas, I think, about transformation, about enlightenment, about waking up. And, uh, but he was pretty normal during this interview. And he and Conan O'Brien sat across from each other with a piece of paper and, and pens and they drew pictures of each other. And they both are really good, really good at drawing. Um, I knew Jim Carrey was, but Conan O'Brien actually did a really, really good job also. And um, check it out. I just think it's a, it's nice. Uh, they're, they're very close. You can see the three of them, um, Andy Richter, Jim Carrey, and, and Conan O'Brien are very close. And you can feel the love between them. And uh, it was, just, not, it was just, just a nice half hour to spend um, watching, watching them interact um, on the Conan O'Brien show which is on TBS. Number three, Homeland is back. I think I just watched the third episode. Homeland is a show that's on Showtime. Uh, it's been going on now for 10 years. This is the eighth and final season. And, uh, you know, Carrie Mathis, played by Claire Danes, and, and uh, uh, Saul, uh, played by uh, Mandy Patinkin, are back. And it's a great, it's just a great show. It's just a great show. And it's the last season, so you know they're going to do it well. Check out Homeland. If you have not started to watch that, just go back and start it with number one. You are in for a phenomenal binge watch. Just get into Homeland. You will not be disappointed. Number four, Curb Your Enthusiasm is back. So this is Larry David's uh, comedy. And the shows that I've been watching, I've seen the last three or four of them uh, of the new season. Um, they're like 35 to 45 minutes long. Ted Danson's in them. Um, you know, the, the regular cast of characters. And it's, it's just a very funny show. So it's a nice way on a Sunday to kind of wind down the, the week and get ready for work. Um, uh, is Curb Your Enthusiasm. And that's on HBO. I'm going to recommend a book. The book is called Affirmations. And it's written by Stuart Wilde. Stuart was my teacher for two years, about 20 years ago. And um, it's called Affirmations, How to Expand Your Personal Power and Take Back Control of Your Life. So I used to do a ton of affirmations, and then I stopped. And then my good friend Jeremy, he said uh, 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 he was listening to this guy named Dan Pena on, on YouTube, and Dan Pena, who's a really wealthy man, said the only thing that really works in all of this personal development, you know, this, this, this morass of stuff out there that you can spend your money on, the only thing that really worked in, this, in Dan Pena's opinion was affirmations. So I watched some of Dan Pena's uh, affirmation videos and uh, created seven of my own affirmations based on what I saw there. And then I ordered this book again, which I had read many times in the past, but, you know, you give books away. And uh, man, this is such a great book. It's a little book. It's only about 100 and, I don't know, 45 pages. And uh, it's got affirmations, you know, morning, uh, afternoon, nighttime. And, uh, but it just really kind of lays out where Stuart came from in terms of your energy body and uh, the importance of your energy and protecting your energy and expressing your, your, yourself and uh, the need to kind of um, reprogram yourself, right? Everybody's, everybody's born with this sort of negative, you're not born with it. I think it happens because once you're born, you realize you're going to die. And uh, somewhere along the line, something happens, something bad, and, and you're like, this is, something's wrong here. You know, something ain't right. And uh, you live with this kind of uh, nagging sense of doom that many of us are, are in touch with. So with the affirmations in the morning and in the evening, you're kind of re you're kind of overwhelming that negative with this really positive stuff, so that when it comes times to take action, you're like you're right there. You know you are you are that person that you want to be uh, because you've been telling yourself that just in the morning and just at night, and it takes like a minute. You know it's not like a huge time commitment. Um, and when you read Affirmations by Stuart Wilde, you'll have a lot of good ideas about um, how to how to create your own. And the sixth thing I'll say is uh, Dan Pena's Affirmations is phenomenal. Um, you can find him on YouTube right now. Uh, just just type in Dan Pena, P-E-N-A, Affirmations, and watch some of his videos. The guy is like a no-bullshit straight talker, and uh, you will definitely learn something if you want to 
create a life that's out of the ordinary, create a life that's abundant, create a life that you're kind of the master of your own domain. That's what Dan Pena's stuff is all about. And I highly recommend it. And I thank my friend Jeremiah, Jeremy, for turning me on to Dan Pena. I was in Bangkok and uh, having this conversation. And uh, that's when he told me about Dan Pena. And I checked him out. And I was like, holy crap, I need to get back doing my affirmations that I have. And it's made a big difference. I had just a huge sales uh, month in February. And it's going to be even bigger in March. And I attribute a lot of that to uh, doing affirmations again. So affirmations. All right. There you go. All right. That's the show. So to recap, check out Sam Harris's interview with David White, uh, episode 184 of the Making Sense podcast. Find the Conan O'Brien show with uh, Jim Carrey. Homeland on Showtime is back. Curb Your Enthusiasm on HBO is back. Affirmations by Stuart Wilde, an excellent little book that will kind of clar- cl- clarify and simplify your life. And then you can right now find Dan Pena's Affirmations on YouTube. He offers a lot of free content. So check it out. All right, that is a wrap. Fist bump to all of you drivers out there. Y'all rock it out there every single day. I honor you. I thank you for sharing your journey with me. Uh, yeah, I've got, I'm at 26,000, like 700 rides. And I don't know that I'm going to be driving much anymore in the future, but uh, I would like to get <laughs> over 26,000 just to do it, just to get over 26,000. I initially thought I would get to 30,000, but all my other things that I'm doing are just more fun and uh, more profitable, more lucrative. So I don't know how much more driving I'm actually going to be doing out there. But I've been out there. I've done it 26,000. No, I'm at 26,000. So I'll be, I'll be close to 27,000. At any rate, this is Nomad J saying this episode is in the can. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.